Okay, so taking off from our previous module, we learned how to install and set up Eclipse and also set up our system variables. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Maven project. So what you need to do first of all is to create a, an empty folder on your desktop. So this is gonna be the folder where you're gonna contain and store your overall Maven project and all the configurations. So what we ne need to do next is open up Eclipse and then wait for that to fully load. Browse and select your new folder that you've created on the desktop. Let that fully load. Okay, so once Eclipse is fully loaded, you're gonna see that we've got an no uh, folders within the package explorer, it's completely empty. So if we right click, we're gonna go new other, and then we're gonna select Maven project. Click next. The location is the default location is which we previously selected. So we can select it again, it's not gonna cause any harm. And also if you look in that folder now, you can see that there's a, already a package in there. This is what Eclipse is, is uh, created and stored within that folder when we previously selected that folder when Eclipse started up. So we press OK here, we go next, go next. So depending on our domain location, for me it's uh, the domain name in reverse. So if it's WebDriver University, we're going to reverse it. So you got that first, and then it's going to be WebDriver University. Here I'm just going to put Cucumber Framework within the artifact ID, and then I'm going to remove and strip that section here. And what this does here is when I click Finish, it just leaves it plain and simple as Cucumber Framework. It gets rid of the uh, the URL so we don't have the URL and then dot cucumber framework so it looks a little bit more cleaner so now this is the initial phase initial creation of our maven project and as you can see maven comes bundled with a pom file and you can see it's got a main package and a test package within the framework module later on with this course I'm going to show you how we can use both of these packages to our advantage but to get a brief understanding we can use these packages to create our relevant packages that we'll need or folders we can call them. For example, we can create a features file folder here, which will create our features folder, etc. So we've got the initial phase and the initial setup of our Maven project. So that's the difference. Where a Java project, you normally just have one package. Maven comes in this hierarchy here, in this architectural layout. So what we're gonna do in the next, now we've got everything set up, in the next module we're gonna look more into the POM file and how we can download all the re relevant Cucumber and JAR files that we require.